Today we're going to talk about the magical ingredient called koya dofu. Hello everybody, today we're introducing you to a Japanese ingredient called koya dofu, which simply is freeze-dried tofu. Koya dofu is a convenient ingredient that lasts a long time in the cupboard and requires no refrigeration, which means it's the perfect ingredient to have on hand. Now, koya dofu comes in various shapes and sizes, but they're all simply made out of soybeans. Today, we're going to show you six different ways to use this versatile ingredient. If this is your first time to our channel, we invite you to subscribe, especially if you enjoy these kind of videos. And guys, don't forget to press that bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos. First, we will start with the easiest way to use koya dofu. Today, we are making simple miso soup and we are doing the easy way. First, boil a one serving of water, then add the instant dashi powder and the koya dofu. This koya dofu already comes cut into small pieces for easy cooking. Simmer for 1 to 2 minutes. Turn off the heat and add miso and mix well until dissolved. Finally, mix in the wakame seaweed, simmer for another minute, and serve immediately. This is the easiest way to enjoy koya dofu. It's delicious and nutritious. Next, we'll be making some crispy koya dofu sticks. They're kind of like french fries, but healthier. This time, we're using the normal size squares of koya dofu. Let's reconstitute them by soaking them in a pot of hot water. Leave them in there for 10 minutes. Drain and set aside to cool. Next, squeeze out the excess liquid carefully without breaking them. Now, we need to give them a little flavor. Today, I'm going to simmer them in a simple dashi broth made by mixing water with a tablespoon of instant dashi. Simmer it for a couple of minutes. Take them out and set aside until cool to touch. Then, drain the excess moisture out as much as you can without breaking them. Next, we'll cut them into strips like this, just like we're cutting potatoes. Once that's done, fry them in hot oil until crispy and golden brown. Drain well because they soak up lots of oil. Season with some salt and enjoy with ketchup on the side. Now don't expect them to taste the same as french fries. They're also on the dry side, so you really need some kind of dip like ketchup. But they make a great substitute for those trying to cut out simple carbs. You love the next one. We are making karaage. Karaage is a Japanese style with fried chicken. And it's everyone's favorite. Of course, today's one is koya dofu bajun, And we don't use chicken. After reconstituting the koya dofu, drain well and tear it into bite-sized pieces. Place them in a bowl or a plastic bag like this. Add in soy sauce, sake, ginger juice, grated garlic, and instant dashi powder, and mix it to coat evenly. In a separate bowl, combine potato starch and flour and mix well. Now get a piece of marinated koya dofu and squeeze out excess moisture, but not all of it. You want it to be juicy, so you want some moisture. Coat the piece in the flour mixture until evenly coated. Then fry it in hot oil until golden brown and crispy. Don't forget to drain of excess oil. Serve immediately. It's so good! Next, we're making stuffed koya dofu. It looks kind of fancy, but it's super easy to make. After reconstituting two blocks of tofu and draining them well, cut them in half and make a slit down the middle. In a bowl, combine some ground chicken and some mixed vegetables. You can use any vegetables you like. Today, I'm showing you guys a very simple way. If you don't like this veggie combination, just use whatever you like. Season with salt and pepper and mix well. Now, fill in the tofu pouches with the chicken veggie mixture. Now, don't go too crazy or they will explode on you. Fill the pouches up with just enough mixture. Combine soy sauce, mirin, sake, instant dashi, and water in a saucepan. Place the koya tofu pouches inside and simmer until the chicken is fully cooked. You may need to flip the koya dofu during cooking to make sure that both sides have been cooking in the stock. Once they are done, transfer to a plate. Now this step is optional, but if you like, you can make a simple sauce by adding in a mixture of potato starch and water to the stock. Cook it over medium heat, constantly stirring until it thickens up into a nice sauce. Pour it over the stuffed koya dofu and eat them immediately. This dish goes perfectly with a bowl of rice, miso soup, and some tsukemono or pickled vegetables or even a side salad. The next one is a traditional Japanese dish called nimono. 
Since his mother made this using chicken in our past video, you can watch that video here if you like. This is the koya dofu bajon. After reconstituting two blocks of koya dofu and draining well, cut each block into four. In the saucepan, combine water, soy sauce, mirin, sugar, and instant dashi powder. Mix well until dissolved. Add in the koya dofu, carrots, and shiitake mushroom. You don't have to, but you can place a sheet of foil on the top like this. This will help the ingredients absorb the flavor more evenly. Simmer over low heat until the carrots are soft. Transfer to a plate and garnish with something green like this boiled snow peas. This is very homely dish and is loved by all Japanese. Finally, we're using koya dofu for something non-traditional. We're making a sandwich. No bread required. First, you want to reconstitute and drain one block of koya dofu. Then, add some flavor in it like we did with the koya dofu sticks. Again, make sure to drain off the excess liquid. Cut it right down the middle carefully to give you two slices. This is optional, but I like to season them with salt and pepper. Heat them on a frying pan over medium-low heat, making sure not to burn them. However, you want to cook the slices until they are dry and kind of crispy. Once they are done, transfer to a plate. Spread on your favorite condiments and top with fillings of choice. Put the second slice of koya dofu on top and enjoy. This is especially good for those who are trying to avoid gluten. It's not the same as normal bread, but it's a good substitute. Yep, we did it again. We made an entire meal out of one ingredient. You ready to dig in? Yes, I'm very ready. Itadakimasu! First, I'm gonna start with my miso soup. Oh, good idea. You might as well drink it while it's hot. How is it? Very comforting. Comforting, yeah. Mm. Well, you know, this is the easiest way to use those small pieces of koya dofu. Mm. They sell it at any supermarket and they're so useful. And you can add it to any type of soup. It doesn't have to be miso soup. Mm. And this wakame and koya dofu matches very well. It's a oh, good yeah. combination. Yeah. Now I'm gonna try my french fries aka deep fried koya dofu sticks. You did pretty well. The appearance is quite similar to the potato. Right? Mm hmm It was so good. I used to make this when I used to be on a low carb diet a long, mm -hmm. long time ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it matches with this ketchup. It does. You actually need some kind of dip because these are actually kind of dry. Mm -hmm. Make sure you steam them in dashi before deep frying. Yeah, that's very important because, um, you know, once again, these are totally flavorless so you want to give it some kind of flavor please eat the karage oh japanese fried chicken japanese fried chicken we love this now this is so actually i've never tried deep fried uh koya dofu karage <laughs> koya dofu karage yeah that looks so good it looks just like mm. chicken oh mm. oh that is mm. delicious mm. oh and it's juicy mm. 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 oh that's good mm. Yes. Oh, I'm not even joking, this is good. Before coating with flour mixture, I drained marinade, but not completely. Mm, no wonder it has so much flavor. It's really good. I can taste the ginger and the garlic yes, in this. Yes. So delicious. Oh, I, I, I don't miss meat at all. Very, very looking for this. This, this one? This one. The stuffed <laughs> koya dofu. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I have a feeling you're going to like this. Mm, mm. Here you go. And I will have a piece as well. My mother used to make this for me when I was younger. Really? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I think this is one of the few ways that we had uh, uh, koya dofu at home. Mm. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Mm. 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 It's so flavorful mm. 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 and juicy too. Mm. Mm. This is very easy to make. Super easy, mm. right? I wish I had a bowl of rice though. Mm. Mm. I need a bowl of rice right now. Mm. Maybe we can fill it with gyoza filling. Mmm, that's true. Mm. Kind of like a low carb gyoza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now, can I try your nimono, your simmered yes, vegetables? Yes, of course. Oh, I love how you cut the carrots. <laughs> but I, I cut it with cookie cutter. <laughs> cookie cutter. <laughs> yes. Ooh, cheating. <laughs> so this is the uh, simmered koya dofu mm. in the beautiful broth. Now you use my mother's uh, recipe, yes, right, for yes. nimono, mm -hmm. right? My mother makes like the best nimono ever. Mm -hmm. If you guys mm -hmm. want to try that one out with chicken, check it out. You can click right up there. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is yummy. Yummy. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Your mother's nimono mm -hmm. recipe is mm -hmm. great. It's so good, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. 
This also makes me want a hot bowl of rice right now. Mm. Finally, we have a koya dofu sandwich. Um, basically, a sandwich made out of not bread, but the koya dofu slices. This is interesting. Yes, and it is a very small sandwich, I have to say. So you probably need like two of these to fill you up. But koya dofu is pretty dense and it, it, it you know, and, and they are pretty filling. So here we go. I just cut this in half. Cute. And mm. yeah, once again, you can use your favorite condiments and your favorite ingredients, you know, whatever, tuna, salad, egg salad, ham and cheese. This one is a, um, today we're eating a beef, kind of like a pastrami beef, not really pastrami, beef slices, beef deli slices from a Japanese supermarket. Itadakimasu. Mmm. 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 It's not like bad. bread. Yeah, it's kind of mm. like bread. Mm. 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 It's kind of like a dry sandwich. So you definitely need to spread something on. Mm. That's not bad at all. Mm. Mm. You see how versatile this ingredient is? Koya dofu is an amazing ingredient. And you can purchase this at any supermarket here in Japan. So if you're visiting Japan, definitely pick it up and try it out for yourself. Hope you guys enjoyed learning about koya dofu, one of the most versatile and nutritious ingredients in Japanese cooking. If you've missed our first video in this series, make sure to check it out because it is a good one. We don't want you guys missing out. Thanks for liking and commenting. Until next time, take care. Bye bye.